But everyone, quick help guide for Trading212. Um, a lot of you have been asking where the sell button is, that you're new to the app. You've bought an investment, you've bought something and you can't sell. Is it because the market's shut? Is it because they won't let you sell? Is it because what is the reason? So there's a really quick help guide on how you can get that sell button, how to sell your investments. Um, so this is just a view of the computer screen. I don't know whether you do it on the PC or you do it through your phone. I really like the app, so I'm going to do it through that. But this is what I'm on about. You can see the big buy button, but there's no sell button. This is just physical silver. It's just my investing account. This is the cash back that I get from my ISA during that scheme they run. So let me just quickly swap over to the app. So it should be working. Yep, this is the app, and you can see it inside the app here. So I have uh, 6.18 sh shares of physical silver. You can see their portfolio returns. We're all used to what we normally see. Let's say I don't want my silver anymore. I go into my physical silver and there's only a buy button. Even within that, there's an opportunity to buy. There's limit, stop limit, all that sort of stuff. But there's no sell. How do I... I, I can't swipe sideways on it. That goes to pies. There's no way of selling. And this is the problem that a lot of people are having. Very, very quick fix. So the way, the reason why you can't sell an investment is because it's already in a pie. So the best way of doing it on the app, you go into the pie that it's in. For example, this is in physical wealth. You go into the pie and again, you've got the overview, invest, withdraw, stuff like that. So you can't withdraw anything because again, the pie doesn't have the money. It's the investments within the pie. So the way to do it is you go into holdings at the top. And what you want to do is go more actions and you want to export investments. Again, you can only export what you want to sell. If you've got 10 stocks in there, you don't have to export every single thing, just the one that you want to sell. Click export, click the investment that you're exporting, click next, and then again, if you want to maybe only sell 40 pounds worth, maybe sell just over 40 pound and then you can sell 40 pound, add it back in. But let's say this instance, I'm gonna sell all of my pie, click confirm, and there you go. So now the pie is worth nothing really. You've got the, the fundamentals in there, you've got the structure, but it, the actual investment's not linked to it. So if you go back, go into investments, you now will have the sell button. And again, you can choose the value that you want to sell. So let's say I sell 50 pounds worth and I want to do a sell order. The markets are shut so it won't go through. You can see there at the bottom, current pending orders. Now, let's say you want to invest, if you only took out part of it or the full amount, you can then go back into pies, physical wealth, holding, import investments. And what you will be able to do, you get, you can't import due to a currently sell order, but you'll be able to import back in that investment. So either export it all, sell the amount or sell all of it, and then import it back. And again, I recommend doing this for any new investments. Let's say you're already in physical silver. Uh, let me just cancel the buy, the sell order. Let's say you're already in physical silver. Let's say you've bought some more, you've, you've bought an extra £20 worth. Again, you want to go into it and import it into the uh, into the pie as well. I think I did cancel that. It's just taken a bit of time to, to load. You go into that and then you add in 100% of the new trade that you've done. Confirm and it's back in the pie. So that's a quick way just to show you that's where it means the no sell button is because it's linked to a pie. It's not because trading two and two is keeping your money. It's not because the markets are shut. It's purely because it's linked to a pie. So unlink it from the pie. You don't have to delete the pie. Just unlink it and the buy button, uh, the sell button will all appear next to the buy button. Perfect. Hope that helps. Um, just a quick one. I know you probably already on trading two and two. That's why you're looking for this video. But if you're very, very new to trading two and two, I'm talking within the last kind of five, 10, 15 days. If you didn't use a promotional code to sign up, I have one in the description. So you're probably saying, oh, but I'm not new, I don't have the promotional code. If you didn't use one to sign up with, what you can do is copy my link below and go on to um, Trading212, go on to chat with us. And if you say onto that, just say, I used a promo code and it didn't work when I signed up for free shares, they'll ask you for what the promotional code is. If you paste my link below, they'll get, they'll add it after you've signed up. A lot of people don't realize that. So even if you signed up five days, 10 days, 15, 20 days ago, just or even 30 days ago, just try your luck. If you didn't sign up with any code, didn't get any free shares whatsoever, use the code. Just say, look, I, it, nothing came through. I use this code. Please can you help? And then they'll apply it to your account afterwards. So I hope that helps. Let's get you a free share up to the value of £100. But thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.